Hey guys, welcome back to Matlock's Toy Room Reviews, and today I am doing another DC Universe Classics figure from Wave 8, and this is figure number 5, uh, which is the Parademon. Uh, this is the variant, it was green and yellow, very cool. Um, I would have much rather had the uh, regular red version, but at the time I didn't find it in stores, so this is the only one I found. But uh, anyways, just a quick look at some of the other figures. Which is an okay wave. Um, not the worst, but uh, not really a lot of big name characters in here. But a couple decent figures. And of course you got the Gentleman Ghost, which is freaking stupidly rare. I don't know why. But uh, I really need that head and lower torso. If anybody has an extra one, maybe we can work something out. Just contact me because I really would like to get that to complete my Giganta. But uh, anyways, a little bio there. <clears throat> I don't know if you can read that. Doesn't look like you can. Um, first appearance was in the New Gods number one back in 1971. That's pretty cool. And this was made by Mattel in 2008. So let's take a quick break and we'll get him out of the package. All right, and we are back. Um, first off, the uh, left arm for Giganta. Very cool. The final piece I have. I'm still missing those pieces that come with Gentleman Ghost. Hopefully I can complete that one day. Um, but the uh, Parademon comes with two weapons. First he comes with this uh, pretty cool yellow blaster. It's got like some gold detailing on it, some paint. Um, it has a little peg here and I would imagine that that peg is supposed to go into him somewhere but if it is I cannot find a peg hole for it because I think it'd be kind of cool if it just like clipped onto his waist or something but um, I kind of looked through the figure pretty well and couldn't find if that does clip in. If anybody knows, let me know. But uh, I'm sure I'll figure it out. But pretty cool. And he has this big uh, kind of drill gun. Kind of gold and it's got a little bit of uh, brass paint. I don't know how well that'll pick up. But not too bad. Pretty cool. I like the style of the weapon. It's like a two-handed gun. Which seems to work pretty well. Very cool. And, uh, you know, I don't remember uh, this style uniform. Uh, I know the red one more. But this one's pretty cool looking. It's got his wings. Some nice yellow and green detailing. Very awesome. It's a crazy looking face. So very cool. Um, articulation, he has a... Uh, just a swivel in the head. Just kind of weird, doesn't have a ball joint. Um, a ball joint in his shoulder. A, a single jointed elbow, swivel in the wrist, up and down joint in the torso, swivel at the waist, ball jointed hip, single jointed knee, back and forward pivot at the foot, and doesn't really seem like there's any side to side pivot on this figure. Um, I do kind of like those uh, sculpted on spikes on the sides of his boots, I think that's pretty cool. Not too sure if that spot there on his shoe is supposed to be there, if that's like a paint mess up. That's kind of weird. But, uh, you know, overall, the sculpt and everything looks really good on this figure. They did a, a great job detailing him. Um, it's definitely an awesome figure. Um, like I said, I'd like to get a hold of the red one and maybe even a couple more. Uh, I still need to get Dark Side, um, the, the Collect and Connect figure built. Um, but who knows if I'll ever do that. So, anyways, that was the Parademon. Thanks for checking it out.